right, so today we have an AliExpress haul. I've got a bunch of things to show you. You know the drill by now. There's a bunch of things. There might be some tights. There might be some makeup. Well, there definitely will be some makeup. Also, like just to let you know, I have just filmed a first impression on the mask palette. This is by You Can Be. You can buy this on AliExpress or Amazon. I've just dipped my finger into it. Oh, yeah. This is a really sensational palette. You will have seen the review of this by now because I will be putting that up prior to this video. Um, but this is the eye look I created and I really love it. Like I'm feeling quite gothic -y today. So I'm loving it. But anyway, guys, let's get into this now. By the way, my stool is insisting on doing that, like really annoying, like trumping sound. So once again, like, please don't think that that's me. I know I've trumped in previous videos, but I'm a changed woman. So it's the stool. It's not me. Or actually, I could blame Kat Von D under the bed because she's still there moaning about vaccinations. But anyway, guys, anyway, ta-da! This is my brand new unicorn tie-dye cap i absolutely love it this thing's fecking me right off at the back like i don't know like what do i do with him like why does he insist on getting some attention right now but anyway like i'll cut him off like what do i do like tie him up i just don't know but anyway guys as you can see this is my new cap okay so this arrived yesterday and when i opened it up i was so surprised but the first thing that i said was wow it actually looks like it does in the pictures. No offence to AliExpress, but do you ever find that upon receiving your item that you have ordered, you look at it sometimes and you have a tiny sense of disappointment because you think, actually, do you know what? This does not look like it looked in the photos. I don't necessarily mean this about makeup, more about like clothes, accessories, hats, just dildos like whatever you might be buying like a lot of the time they don't look quite like they look in the pictures and quite like how you imagine them to be you know but this hat does like it even look better than it looked in the pictures it actually feels really really good quality i love this colorful little unicorn just sat atop there i just think this is so cute but like with all caps on aliexpress the lip bit, is this a lip or a tongue? I still don't know, literally after all this time, I still don't know, but I mean, I have the worst memory ever because I was in work the other day and it was like two o'clock in the afternoon and I was talking to Barry in IT and Barry was like, I mean, who is that girl that you came up with before? And I was like, girl. And I was there thinking, who, who was this? Like, I have no idea. And this had only happened at about 10 o'clock. So within... Four hours, I'd completely forgotten which girl I'd been walking around with. So I was like, which, what girl? I, I just don't know. And he was like, yeah, yeah, the girl with short brown hair. And you took her upstairs and then you asked me where Keith was. And I was like, oh, I don't know. And I was in my mind, like I was thinking, who could that have been? And then I realised, oh, it's the new girl. But like, literally, that's how bad my memory is. So anyway, guys. So yeah, the, the lip tongue, whatever this bit is here it's very long and this happens like with all caps from aliexpress i don't know why they feel the need to be so long because like really it should be like little and cute i think that would look a lot better you know but it's their choice i guess but um you know i'm the victim because i have to wear this fucking oversized tongue lip whatever the feck it is all of that aside i really really like the cap i think it's super cute I probably will be wearing this in videos going forward. I just love it. Like, I love it. This is so me. I feel like it was made for me. I'm in love. It's a wonderful little cap. I'm not going to let the boys even get their hands on it because then it will become their cap. Anyway, guys, I love this. I introduce you to my fabulous new cap. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? Oh, is it? Or does this look like I'm trying too hard to be 15 again? Probably. Could I do this? No, no. I mean, literally, you know, the boys love going to the uh, skate park in the park, surprisingly. All of like, you know, the, the high school kids hang out there. And I sit there sometimes and I think I'm not one of them anymore. Like, I'm not one of them. But I'll be sat there thinking... 
I don't fit in here anymore, like literally. But anyway, guys, so that's my new cap. Um, should I keep it on? I'll just pop it like that. Okay, so next I got an eyeshadow palette. This is by the brand Kmudu. I can never pronounce this brand. Kmudu. When I first saw this, it immediately made me think of the Huda Beauty, like, green palette. So I've not opened this yet because I thought we could open it together, which is, you know, what I really, really like to do. Open her. Oh, my gosh. The packaging looks so cheap. Like so cheap literally oh the packaging oh guys like literally i know this palette only cost me a couple of pounds but i mean it's it's like sand it's like a foam sandwich oh, okay right you look first you look first tell me what you think let me down gently is it great is it fabulous is it green is it all in one piece i mean let's see oh. Oh, uh, I mean, it's very glittery. It, the the shimmers have just overwhelmed with glitter. Um, do you know what? Like, I feel really bad saying this, but it's the packaging that is just completely like putting me off with this. Because I mean, it's so cheap, guys. Look, it's foam. It is. It's foam. It's not even like a plastic or cardboard. It's fucking foam. Like this, 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 this is bullshit. I, I know it was only two pounds though. So how annoyed can I be really? Really, you know what I mean? Like we've got to like set our expectations within the boundaries of the price we pay for things. So I feel like I can't be annoyed. This is probably worth every penny of it's two pounds, but probably not. Like probably worth about 10p. Mm, guys i feel so bad i feel so bad being so critical i've not even tried this yet um but like even now i feel like this like it could just it could just come apart yeah oh look that's how easy that's how easy it was ah i know you're gonna be saying i when you are so wasteful like for ripping this palette apart you are a murderer at this point but uh, it's just cheap guys and i just can't help but think I deserve better than this, you know? Like, I deserve better than this. If you want me to, like, if you really want me to, I, w I will try it out soon, but I I don't have high hopes, is, is all I'm gonna say about that. Okay, so next we have a cream highlight. This is by the Fever brand. I have been really into Fever recently because they make the most beautiful single eyeshadows, the ultra metallics and the ultra mattes fantastic so this is the so glow cream highlighter and it's in the shade cream number 104 so uh yeah the the text is pissing me off because it's in the comic sans font i cannot take anything seriously in fucking comic sans i know that sounds extremely like harsh of me and a bit savage against comic sans but comic sans it's just one of those fonts that, like, I don't know, like, when it would be appropriate to use because it's just offensive. It's offensive to me. Like, I know it's going for, like, this playful image, but it just tears me up inside whenever I see Comic Sans. So, anyway, this is what the little um, highlighter looks like. If we pop her open... There she is. I mean, she's nothing new. She's nothing different. She's nothing revolutionary, but she might be pretty. Um, she looks to be like a yellowy gold color. Oh my gosh, she's a lot more like oily than I was expecting. So there she is. Oh my gosh, she's so oily. Like she feels like KY jelly. Um, not that I know what KY jelly feels like well i mean really guys but yeah she's very oily she's pretty though like she is actually quite pretty looking so i mean i'm going to be testing her out soon um and she could be like fantastic actually because she looks very wet and glowy so do you know what i'm kind of liking that but i do feel she's very oily is the only thing but yeah okay so this is the fira so glow in comic sans Feck off Comic Sans. Can you hear my stool, by the way, guys? Whenever I try to do it, it will not do it. There's something There's something wrong with my stool as well. Because, can you see, it's dipping in. Like, it's just dipped in. I feel like, is, is my bum that big these days that my stool just can't retake the weight? 
I mean, I don't know what's going on with this, but let me see. Like, I'm just, I'm thinking I could do like a minor surgery here on the stool and maybe like, oh, pop it, pop it back up again. Okay, so look, can you see that bit's like come up inside and it's cracked? Oh my gosh, I must have ate some cakes that day or something, but oh, it won't go back down, guys. Oh, she's a goner. She is a goner, like literally, but I'm going to have to like invest in a new stool now. Oh, shit. Oh, it's worked. Oh, she feels hard again. Oh, yes, baby. She feels all hard and... Mm, yes okay we're back on track so next i bought yet more more you you probably thought you'd seen the end of these spiral bohemian-esque uh, earrings but i cannot stop buying them i've actually got a pair of the ones that i bought previously just here on my desk um but i love these i think they're so pretty and just a little bit different very eye-catching super super cheap these cost about 40p each but i just think that they look really um just really like pretty and oh shania twain just something a little bit different and quite quirky so i like them i like anything quirky oh i keep fucking dropping it what Hey, and I like obviously because they're so cheap I bought a silver pair these are slightly different uh, to the gold pair uh, these ones look like a bit of like a lotus flower and these ones are just like a swirly design so yeah oh my gosh like mm, I don't know which one I like best like I think they both look really really pretty and like they don't feel too bad a quality bad a quality like oops i could feel my english teacher just like dying inside then when i said that but they don't they feel like fairly good quality like they feel quite substantial uh so anyway yes yeah, so these are the fabulous earrings okay so next i have a fake makeup product and i don't actually remember like when i actually bought this i was just like hunting through my aliexpress drawer the other day yes i have a drawer devoted to aliexpress and i like basically i put all of like my new stuff in there ready to be hauled and i just found this so it's a fake it's definitely a fake fenty beauty matchsticks and this is in the shade amber this is one of their contouring well it's not one of their it's one of the fakers um like contour sticks so as you can see it's kind of like a cool toned like brownie kind of shade and anyway i just saw it and i thought okay i mean i'm kind of looking forward to actually testing this out i have tried the fake um highlight kind of matchsticks they were actually quite nice i got them from ebay but i do not condone fake makeup i don't support it anymore like i used to be really really intrigued by fake makeup and i used to really enjoy like filming like trying out fake makeup that's makeup it just i don't know it's something that i used to be like interested in but nowadays um i don't really want to be like promoting it here on my channel she says with it in her hand but i'm still interested to try this and seeing as it was in my drawer and i've already bought it i thought well I, why let it go to waste you know so that's my excuse and i'm sticking with it so we're going to be trying this soon. Okay, so next I have a founded liation. This was actually given to me by one of my friends here on YouTube. Um, she sent this to me a while ago and I've just never got around to like doing anything with it. So this is by O2O and it's the Black Gold Invisible Cove Founded Liation. So I have tried another foundation by O2O and it was literally, literally what? It was literally like the worst foundation that i've ever tried i filmed the first impression and i didn't even end up like putting the video up because it was it was just it was so negative like the video was so negative and the foundation was so awful i don't know i just i, I couldn't i couldn't even dream of putting the foundation on my face again so i just like i never got around to editing it this is the black what is it the black gold the one that i had was just called the invisible coal foundation uh, so this is like a slightly different version of the one that I've previously tried and hated. The lovely lady who sent this to me, Janice, she has tried it out, which is why it kind of looks a bit used. And I know that she didn't like it, which is why like she sent it to me. 
No, I'm joking. I really, really appreciate her sending it to me. But uh, yes, yeah, she wasn't a huge fan. So it'll be interesting to see what I think. And I'm going to try not to be too um, biased based on like my experience with their other foundation but anyway i will be trying this one out soon and we can see you know how it goes i've had quite a lot of luck recently with um you know foundations from aliexpress so maybe that will be good as well okay so i got this bow right and recently like i've, I've been going through a phase of like really enjoying wearing like a bow in my hair um a scarf in my hair just making a bit more effort in general or with my hair but uh, yeah, this, this, I mean, I don't know about this. This is a, yeah, is it like a silky? Well, it's definitely not silk. Like a satiny feeling kind of bow. And it's pretty and everything, but it's a bit big. Like it's a bit big. And normally I do not complain about things being a bit big. She says after complaining about the hat, tongue lip thing being a bit big. But generally in life, it's nice if things are a bit big. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I could just kind of like... Pop it in, you know, just pop it in. That's what he said. Oh yes, he did. Just pop it in. I mean, imagine if I had my hair like this. T -t -t -t. By the way, I really need to do my roots. Uh, that's definitely overdue. Okay, so, so, so how does that, oh my gosh, it's kind of cute. What do I have on my top? Oh, I thought it was my liquid lipstick then. I was like, no! But no, it's not. It's a bit of fluff. But oh my gosh, this is so cute. Really liking this bow. I take back everything that I said about it. I think it's fabulous. Okay, so the last thing that I have to show you today is a pair of tights. I bet you were thinking, hmm, after that last pair of tights, there'll be no more tights on Anwen's channel. I think she's found the coolest pair of two-tone tights. Do you remember the two-tone tights? Guys, Hold on to your panties. She's found another pair of super cool sassy tights. These are them. And guys, I'll just go in between my two tight legs. Not rude at all. But I bet you're thinking, well, Aminator, those are just your average pair of black tights. No, no. Look at this. They've got little stripes on. I mean, really, guys, I've not tried on these on yet at the time of filming this. But um, you will be seeing, obviously, like a little clip of me dilly-dallying about in them in just a minute. So, um, yeah, I think uh, these are, like, really, really cool. Um, because it, it looks almost like they are a lower denier up at the top here. And, like, a thicker denier. Um, which means that they are... I was going to say they've got more coverage down below, but... They, they are more opaque down below and then they're just a bit more sheer here at the top and then you've got these funky little like lines that just separate the thighs from the leg you know portion of your legs you know what I mean so anyway so these are my new tights and I think that I could get away with these for work unlike the two-tone tights because I don't know if they were just a little bit too out there you know for the office because um, you never know what's going to work in the office could i wear my bright pink lipstick to the office oh maybe not because maybe it'd be like oh look he's having a bright pink lipstick in the office like i must say actually um my the company that i work for are brilliant like i wander in with like bright pink hair a massive bow in my hair um super glittery um eyeshadow uh you know very vampy lip just like frilly socks just crazy i walk in just doing whatever the hell i like every single day nobody bats an eyelid i love where i work like i'm so lucky like i wish all places could be like that but i know that some people like if they've even got like studs in their ears they have to like cover them with a plaster. What is that all about? What? Like why? You, it looks worse seeing a plaster there than seeing an actual beautiful diamond or just beautiful like, you know, skull face stud. That, I mean, really guys, but anyway, people need to get into the 21st century already already but anyway guys that brings us to the end of this haul i really hope you've enjoyed it i've had so much fun filming as always please pray for my stool i don't think he's going to be around for much longer but anyway guys i hope you're having a wonderful day today and i'll see you in the next video why am i being so annoying i can tell you why red bull like that's why but anyway guys i'll see you soon bye